Hi, everyone. Are you ready for some more Necron goodness? I told you I'd be bringing you Necrons in my preview for 2015, and here we are. I now am going to bring you the Annihilation Nexus. Are you ready? Many Pharons have little patience for protracted sieges or wars of attrition, preferring instead to swiftly overwhelm their enemies with extreme levels of firepower. When a particularly stubborn foe has provoked the displeasure of the Overlord, he will summon forth an Annihilation Nexus, so that the enemies may be suitably punished for their folly. Prized among the possessions of many overlords are their doomsday arcs, and the rare dark energy to cannons they carry into battle. Few things stir the cold emotions of a Necron noble like seeing his enemies erased from existence by the reality-rending blast from the Ark's cannon. Even so, such tools of obliteration are never risked in battle lightly. And thus, the Arks of the Necklace are supported by twin annihilation barges to see off lesser threats. Yes, you heard that right. This formation is going to consist of one Doomsday Arc and two Annihilation Barges. You can have as many of these formations as you want in the point, in the point limits of your game. <clears throat> and, it, 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 and they take no slots on your Force Organization chart. If you buy these, uh, they have no restrictions either. And they come with the following special rule. Quantum deflection. If the doomsday arc from this formation's quantum shielding is deactivated, at the start of any of the controlling player's movement phases, you can nominate an annihilation barge from this formation within six inches that has an active quantum shielding. That Annihilation Barge's quantum shielding is immediately deactivated, and the Doomsday Arc's quantum shielding is immediately reactivated. So let's just put that simply. For each one of these formations, the Doomsday Arc basically has three quantum shields, if everybody's shooting at the Doomsday Arc. Uh, because at the beginning of the next turn's movement phase, it simply nominates one of the Annihilation Barges within six inches of the Ark and takes its shield. That's how insane that is. Uh, I mean, wow. I mean, seriously. As I said, you shouldn't be... You, the only question you have for your Necron Army list now should be, what formations are you using? Because the combinations of this are endless. Endless, I tell you. Until next time. Bye. Hmm.